Hello. So this is more of a chatty video about where I've been and what's coming for the channel over the next few months and next year. If you're triggered by loss or you just want formulas, then I suggest you skip this video and wait for next week's, which will be a formula. Um, until then, <laughs> um, so I had a bit of a break from YouTube, as some of you probably noticed. Um, thank you to those who gave an outpouring of support on my community messages and those who <laughs> Join the Patreon despite the fact that I wasn't posting much just so you could support me and your messages were just so nice. So thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. Um, it has been a tough time. I'm holding it together a bit today so I felt I could do this video because I just felt like the channel needed a bit of a fresh start. So I've got my cup of tea because, you know, England <laughs> and um, some bits to show you and just a little explanation of stuff. So here we go. Um, basically, I started my soap launch, as you know, um, I was promoting it and everything in August. And at the end of August, um, my dad went into hospital. Now, this isn't anything new. He's been ill for a very long time. And to be honest, we've we've actually had him 20 years longer than we ever thought we would so I'm so lucky and I'm so grateful for that but he went into hospital and sadly wasn't going to come out again and we basically <laughs> we got ill in between so couldn't be up there every day but the last sort of half of August we were at the hospital every single day um, and it was tough and it was traumatic and obviously my mind wasn't focused on YouTube and I know so many of you understand that um, so <laughs> my marketing went a little bit off understandably for my launch but I launched anyway because one of the days where he could actually say things to us the last thing he said was don't quit <laughs> and being someone that had a lot of hobbies and did an awful lot. Um, if Etsy had existed in the 80s and 90s, my dad would have been a millionaire, put it that way. <laughs> if there was a hobby that existed, he did it. Um, and so he wouldn't have wanted me to quit. And that just gave me the motivation I needed to carry on. And so I did launch my soaps, my first range. And of course, at that point, by the time I launched them and all this happened, I'd already made a lot of my Halloween range. Um, which felt really strange because obviously Halloween is like gravestones and blood and gore and things like that and you're dealing with the loss of a parent whilst you're releasing something like that which was very weird but again he didn't want me to not do what I was doing and he knew that I loved that aesthetic anyway so I launched my Halloween range but with very little marketing so sales obviously weren't what I wanted, but they were very much what I expected given the circumstances. Um, going forward, it's difficult, as I'm sure a lot of you know. Um, sadly, it's something we all go through at some point, um, but it does get easier and you will have days where you feel okay and you might feel guilty for feeling okay. Um, you have other days where you just need to cry all day and that's fine as well. Basically, everyone deals with it how they deal with it and I'm so glad that I have this channel and I have the soap making and the other products I'm going to launch to just put my energy into because that really helps like having a hobby or a business whatever you want it really helps so if anyone else is going through similar then just know like you will be all right and we've all got each other in the community so I'll park that there <laughs> and we'll move on a little bit. Um, I'm gonna bring the channel back to life a little bit. I'm going to spend a bit more time making videos, planning them, editing them, because I want them to be a bit better quality. I want to get better in front of the camera because I did always plan to do Vlogmas this year. And whilst this Christmas will probably be a bit sad, I also want to try it because he would have wanted me to. So I'm gonna try Vlogmas. So I'm gonna try vlogging a little bit more but keep it more to the business side of things and stuff that will help you guys because I know a lot of you don't really care about me making dinner um, you know you can see that on other vlog channels so sorry 
It's my Halloween ghost mug. Um, so talking of the soaps, um, I will show you them all finished. Um, these are available on my website still. Please go buy them <laughs> if you want them. They're available to the UK and the US. And they, I am really proud of the soap recipe and how it performs and the scents I really love and everything. And there are unscented options. So my Halloween range, um, if I can show it to the camera, I'll insert some footage because it probably won't focus. But this is my chocolate orange uh, trick or treat soap, which has the little pumpkin embed on the front and the gravestone on the top and then the green drizzle. And then the little embed probably will fall off at some point because it's just stuck on with soap. Um, but I thought that would be fun. I really love this one and it just it smells of orange chocolate, so I absolutely love that. And then, this is another one of my favourites, my Jaws soap, which I call Don't Go In The Water. And then it's got the little shark fin at the top and the red blood drizzle, which is quite fun. And that kind of smells like, um, it's almost like a sea salt mixed with tropical fruits and tropical flowers and things. So it's supposed to evoke like being on a, desert island somewhere and it definitely does that um, then I wanted to do a banana soap how could I make it Halloween well I know bats love bananas so that's what it's called and there's the bat there and then this is supposed to be badly piped on purpose because it's supposed to be like mashed banana um, and it just smells like sort of sweet foam bananas it's really nice we've got the coffee the uh, acai coffee soap so it's a very coffee smell, but it's slightly spiced and it actually, it reminds me of Camden, Camden Market, a little bit. Um, if you've been to Camden, you live around here, you'll know what I mean. Then I've got the coconut and vanilla and the bottom here is all um, mica and some jojoba seeds, just to sort of give you a bit of texture, like a coconut shell. And then you've got a little bit on top and then the rest is sort of like swirled coconut and then i've got one of my unscented this was for the halloween range this was ghosted so it's completely uncolored unscented um, and then it's just got a melt and pour ghost and melt and pour drizzle on the top um, it's just a way to get the nice benefits from a, a cold process soap um, without having to worry about color and fragrance because i know some of you don't want that um, so this is a really beautiful soap then uh, what seems to be everyone's favorite the citrus oat and honey this has got colloidal oats in it um, and real honey um, and it's it's such a beautiful bar um, it's really lovely and it kind of smells like um, honey and uh, sort of lemony citrus it's really beautiful then the lemon meringue Unfortunately, these just do discolour slightly because of the vanilla content in them, but it smells exactly like a lemon meringue pie um, and hopefully looks like a slice of one anyway. And then we've got the jojoba seeds in the bottom as well. I've got fresh peach. Um, I just wanted the scent to come through in this, so it's literally just peach <laughs> scented, but it's such a beautiful peach scent and it really comes through nicely without being too overpowering. Um, so that's just, just peach. And then the last one, because those who have unscented things might not necessarily want something beige or plain like this. So I've made something a bit more colorful for you. Here is a rainbow soap. This is actually has about 11 layers in it because I've mixed the colors in between as well. Um, so it's a really beautiful soap and there's no fragrance in this. So if you've got sensitive skin, you'll be perfectly fine and you've got something a bit more fun. So that's the soap range. Um, and these are still available on my website to purchase for the UK and the USA if you want any. They do make nice little stocking stuffers or nice gifts for Christmas. I actually, I'll insert a photo I sent one of the shark soaps to my friend for her birthday um, and uh, I paired it with a Jaws notebook and the colours were spot on and they look so good together so I'll put a picture there. Um, so like they make good gifts and uh, people sort of are starting to like bar soap a lot more now because 
obviously the natural oils and everything. And I'm really pleased with my formula because it's so bubbly and creamy at the same time. And it's just, it, it leaves my skin feeling really nice. Hopefully you'll enjoy it too. So yeah, link below for those if you want those. The other surprise I had this week was this came in the post. I had an email from YouTube quite a while back and I don't know if you remember, I got a light, um, the YouTube logo light. It's all part of the YouTube High Five program which picks channels at random to basically receive perks and presents for six months, which is really lovely. Um, so we've had, what, uh, free coffee, free sausage rolls from Greg's, uh, free pizza, um, there's trips you can go on, there was a competition to enter to uh, win like a secret YouTube meetup, um, there were, there's various other things and this month was either YouTube M&Ms or a YouTube logo, not Lego, uh, brick set. So I probably won't put this together, I'll probably get my husband to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but when that's done, you can have a look and see what that looks like, but it's just like a YouTube logo. So that's pretty cool. Um, and it comes with instructions with the YouTube high five thing. So it's cool that they do that. It sort of recognizes creators big and small and just makes you feel part of the community, even if you're not a big channel. So I appreciate that. Thank you, YouTube. So other than that, what have I got planned? I am <laughs> going to vlog a little bit more of my sort of day to day, but there won't be much packing orders at the moment because I'm not selling too much. It's just the soaps. Most of my stuff is like online. Um, but I am getting some safety reports done for some other products. So I have a body scrub that I'm really, really proud of. Um, and I can't wait to share that with you. So I will be getting that assessed. Um, I will be getting some bath bombs assessed and uh, there were some other things but I'll, I'll share them with you as I get them because these safety reports sadly in the UK are not cheap and it really is a barrier to market and it, it's frustrating quite a lot of people and there are lovely safety assessors who do reasonable prices and stuff and it is a responsibility on their part so I know why they charge what they charge but it's not a case of like in many other countries where you can just make something and sell it after you've done your stability testing. We have to submit our recipe to a safety assessor and then they basically determine whether those ingredients are safe when interacted together etc in your recipe and then we get a legal document essentially that says yes this is safe you can sell it. Um, but without that legal document we can't sell anything and those legal documents cost a lot of money and the trouble is you cannot deviate from the, the formula in that document. So what I try to do is get flexible assessments. Um, one of the CPSR assessors that does this is MAF Cosmetics and they will do custom flexible assessments for you so you can have use up to a certain amount of various different ingredients and have creativity within that assessment. But the trouble is that obviously costs more than just assessing a single product. So I like to plan ahead and just take my time and then get those when I can afford them. Um, and then I can sort of have a bit more freedom with what I create and then maybe do some subscription boxes or surprise things for patrons. So speaking of Patreon, um, all of my formulas are on Patreon and you get a PDF to print out as well so you can have a little recipe folder. One thing I did want to address is because I'm getting a lot of droop requests and I don't know what your perception of me is but I am not a qualified chemist. I'm a DIY self-taught formulator so some of the requests I'm getting kind of imply you have a really, really high opinion of me and thank you, but I, my abilities are limited because I am also learning and I'm sharing that learning journey with you. So anything posted on YouTube or Patreon is an experiment. I don't have the time to make that, perform a year's stability and then post it on YouTube because I'm 
putting out content all the time. So these formulas you should take as inspiration and a starting point based on my findings and how I found it for making your own formulas. They're not ready to just take and sell. Um, to do that would be quite silly. <laughs> so do your own testing, do your own stability tests for them and make them your own as well. You don't want to just copy other people's formulas constantly because it, it won't be yours and you'll have no unique selling point. So I just wanted to put that out there. If there are any formulas that I have made and stability tested for at least a year, I will put them for sale on my website as an official formula. And then you can use those, but again, I do suggest you use them as inspiration and you build upon them. But I'm only going to sell formulas that I know are stable when I make them. But there's still that stability testing that needs to be done by you because you might get your ingredients from a different supplier, your GMP, that's good manufacturing practice, might be different from mine. There are so many variables that mean that it may well have turned out perfect for me and had stability for a year, but for you it might not. So you need to know that that recipe works and is stable, but you need to factor in how you do things and where you get your products and things. And I do always recommend get your ingredients from a reliable supplier. Um, don't just buy anything on Amazon unless it's a supplier you know on Amazon as well um, because some ingredients can be contaminated, some ingredients may not be what they say they are etc. So always go with reliable suppliers. I like to use um, Bayhouse Aromatics, aromantic.co.uk, the soapery, the soap kitchen, uh, Owen 3, um, Live More, um, Soak Rochford. There's loads, there's loads more that I haven't mentioned, but you know, you can Google them and you'll find loads. But that's basically what I wanted to say today. If you do want all of my formulas, you want to chat to me, if you want a bit of business mentoring, um, if you have a question, Patreon is the place to do it. I got so overwhelmed with comments and things on YouTube while I wasn't on there and I just didn't have it in me to answer them and everything. Patreon is more manageable. Um, I can guarantee you a reply there. I can guarantee to help you as much as I can there. Um, it's not a paywall, it's not me gatekeeping, it's just simply dividing the people that want to learn and can do their own research and really are serious about formulating from the people that just ask loads of questions when the answer's already on YouTube. So if you do have a question, check my YouTube videos because there is a very high chance that the information is there because I've tried to make videos based on all the questions I get. Um, otherwise, if you've got some other questions or you want to chat with me, then come and join me on Patreon. I've even got a community chat enabled for the VIP and mentoring tiers so you can chat with each other and we can all help each other out as well. So it's a really nice place to be and um, I'm grateful for every single one of you on there and all of my formulas will be on there as well. So yeah, um, I think that's about it for this video. If you've made it this far, thank you. <laughs> um, thank you again for all of your support and your lovely comments and your kind words and I'll be okay, you'll be okay, we'll all be okay. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video where I will be making something quite fun. So I'll see you then and yeah, take care everyone. <laughs>